Good morning, everybody. We're back. I've been sick all week. Well, actually, I was sick Monday to Thursday. Friday, I was doing pretty good already, and Saturday, yesterday, I was completely fine. So today is Sunday. Time is 4 o'clock p.m. already. I'm feeling great. All my energy is back, back to normal, and we're back to work. I'm gathering all my stuff together here, going over to the shop. I've got to load it all up. We haven't been on the road now for over a week. It's going to feel good to get back out there, but, you know, you get used to being at home every day pretty quick. It's pretty hard to leave home. It's hard to leave home every time, but especially when you spend, like, an extended time at home, you get used to that, and you're like, ah, that was nice, but, you know, we got to go do some trucking, too. We got some bills to pay, but thankfully, you know, we live a pretty low-budget lifestyle right now, and uh, you know, having to take a week off because I was sick isn't going to cripple us, so we're thankful for that. I got through it, and uh, let's go see how old Blue is. Old oh, Blue, did you miss me? Oh, you did, didn't you? There you are. Morning. It's time to get back to work. I've got this mattress here waiting to go to the dump. The box of the mattress is right there. I haven't forgotten. I want to tell you guys all about that Odyssey truck mattress. If you guys are looking for their logo. That's the mattress I have in my truck right now. Honestly, the best. The best mattress I've ever even heard of there being in a truck. Like, take a look at this. Take a look at this here. I can open up the side door here. It's like having a home mattress in your truck. Open up here, come on. Okay. Like, look how thick this thing is. This is all mattress. That's my hand there. Pillow top. Odyssey truck mattress. They wanted me to try it out and uh, get my opinion. Believe me, my reviews are, if I could give, like, if it was a five-star rating, I would give it 15. Best sleep of my life in there. So I'm going to get all my stuff in here now. Load it up. We have a trailer that's waiting for us at the yard that's already tarped, so we're not going to need my tarps. But I'm going to take them with anyways, because I might need them for my next load. So we're going to go grab that trailer. Thanks to Caden, he went and picked it up in Kenora for me and tarped it for me. Got it all ready to go, nice and pretty. I haven't seen it yet, but I trust that he made it all nice and pretty. He picked it up for me. We're going to bring it to Brainerd, Minnesota. I'd like to get there tonight yet. But like I said, it's about 4 p.m. right now. By the time I get all my stuff loaded up in here... It's probably going to be, well, it's definitely going to be after dark because the sun sets at crazy hours these days and we hardly ever see the sun anymore. But uh, when we do get going, it'll probably be dark and I'll drive into the night, see how far I can get. I hope he loaded it legal. I hope he scaled it. Of course he did. Of course he did. Why, why would I even say that? Caden knows what he's doing. I got these in the mail too. Uh, replacements. You can see them. Uh, I haven't unpacked them yet. They're uh, the replacements for the front, right? Up here. My headlight, uh, I put these new visors on here, right? And then these lights under here, which are marker lights and signal lights. Now the marker light on this side stopped working. And this one also got moisture in it and starting to discolor. It stopped working, but the signal was working. I took it all off. I realized that the wire at the motherboard, there's a little motherboard behind here. The wire at the motherboard broke off, and there's no way of me even soldering it back on. So I just bought new ones. In the meantime, what I did, because the marker light wasn't working on this one, but it was working on that one. Very imbalanced. Couldn't let that stand. It was bothering me. So I cut the wire on this one. <laughs> so that only the signal works on this one too. So that both signals work, but the marker lights both didn't work. So I'm taking this one off. I'm taking that one off. Or actually, you know what? I'm not going to take this one off because this one still works. I'm just going to reattach that wire. All I did was I just snipped the wire so that uh, just the marker light wire. I'll just reconnect that, and uh, we'll be we'll be off to the races. I just have to replace that one yet before we go. Load all my stuff up in here. Get old blue warmed up, ready to go. And you might notice uh, my uh, red ensign flag is gone there. You guys are wondering. I can. They're going back up, don't worry. Remember, they had those little squares in them from the packaging? I took them home and ran them through the dryer just a little bit just to even them out. And I'll hang them back up as soon as I can. I have them in my pickup. 
I've got the wire repaired here that I had snipped. It's for the marker light. Tested it already. It's working good. Just got some uh, some shrink tube on there right now. Let's see if I can get my torch going. Just gonna shrink that on there and seal it up. It's a little dark in here, eh? It's trying not to block all the light for you. What I'm doing here is I'm just sealing the wires in. Reconnected them in here, and this is shrink tubing. It uh, when it's heated up like that. You've seen it before in my videos, it shrinks onto the wire. Wiring and electronics is one thing I was always interested in growing up. That's one thing I can do myself, just wiring up lights. You just bring power from the power source to the light and connect them positive and negative on the ground. It's pretty simple, but uh, something I like doing. This is all my uh, shrink tubing that I've got. I used one of these for this. Got all kinds of different sizes. So that was just repairing the wires that I had cut myself. Now I've got to replace the other side. Now I'm wondering if I could just replace the little light bar and save the, the, the whole like surround. I think I can. Let's get this out of here. I had to order them two at a time. And they're about $50, uh, $50 Canadian each. They're nice and shiny. You see this one's a lot better quality here and you can see there's screws right there they come around to the back right here right I think I can just replace this light bar pretty sure then I don't have to take that whole thing out of the this round right no it's only six yeah it's only six screws in whatever if I have to replace the whole thing I have to replace the whole thing if not I can save it keep it as a spare but I couldn't order just this light bar. I looked everywhere. You probably can get it somewhere. I just got frustrated, couldn't find it, and gave up. Like, if you're going to make it that hard for me to find your product, I guess I'm just not going to buy your product. That's the whole point of uh, selling things, right? You want people to be able to find you. <laughs> hmm. And you see, this is where this black wire is for the running lights. That's the white one. The black wire is for the running lights, and it broke right off of the motherboard on my other one, like right off from in there. No way to solder it in. I'm not a professional soldering dude, so. Eh, I tried. Just had, just had a new one. All right, let's do this. Come with me. See, I got the, <laughs> I got the creases out of the flag, but now it's all wrinkly. Whatever, you know what, whatever. The king will just have to forgive me. He seems like a nice guy. I think he'll forgive me, right? Right? He's not going to throw me in the dungeon, is he? Do they still have... They, they still have the dungeons. Of course they do. Gonna... Ooh, that was a heavy hood. Uh, okay. So, this right here is what I want to replace. I don't think I have to replace all of this. Though it does need a good wash already. But, uh, you know... I don't want to put a brand new one on right before winter and then destroy it through winter. I'd rather replace both of them in spring when I polish the truck and then I have two new ones in spring, you know what I mean? But the light does need to be replaced because that's functional. That's a functional device. I'll see what I can do. I'll get back to you in a bit. I had to take the whole thing off anyways and clean it off here a little bit. But I did manage to get the light bar out of there, but uh, it was caught in the back. I just cut the wires for it right there. I'm gonna connect those wires just to the new light bar. Take it from there. Always something to do. Always something to do. Let's clean this off. This is just garbage. Here you can really tell the difference between <laughs> the old one that I've had on there for a few months and the new one that hasn't seen a truck yet. But I'm just going to take the light right now. We're going to save these for spring. Or in case one of those breaks. That was nice and shiny. We're going to put that on uh, and let this one hang out on there over the weekend. Over the weekend. Yes. I wish winter was just a weekend. 
I'm still in dream world. It's back to work already, Josh. Come on. We're at work again. We're not at home in bed. I'm going to use some visible bull snot glass cleaner here. I'm going to clean this off and then move the light bar over. We'll be on our way. I do need to get going because I want to see how far I can get tonight yet. I'll be driving probably till 12 or 1 in the morning. <laughs> so we got the new one in there. Polish this up a little bit yet, but I'm just going to screw that in. Make sure it stays in there. Tiny bolts and nuts in here. Put the nut in there. Start screwing it in from here. Okay. I've got the wires connected here. I'm going to have a lot of extra wire on, uh, on this side. Because I kept all the wiring from the last one and just reconnected it to the new wiring on this one. Better to have more because then if I need to shave it down later, uh, I can. I have that option. Better than, you know, having to replace the whole thing later because you don't have enough. We'll uh, stash it away in there neat neatly, tuck it away there, nice and safe. But it should be working now. So let's turn on all our turn on all of our lights here, the signals. Okay, it should be working. Beautiful. That side there's working as well. Okay, just gotta screw this back on here. Tuck that wire away, nice and neat. I'm just going to organize the inside of the truck yet, open up the door, and we're off. There you are. We are looking for flatbed trailer 538. It's going to have a tarp load on it. It's going to be a flatbed. That's not it. It's definitely not it. How about this? What's this? This is, nope, that is 501. All right, it must be in the lineup back there then. Oh, there it is, I bet you that's it right there. I bet you that's it right there. Kapow! Oh, my high beams aren't that bright right now. I wanna change my incandescent bulbs in my, or my headlights. Uh, to be like my low beams, LEDs. Is this it? That's 532. Okay, so it's going to be a load very similar to that. That looks like the load that Caden described to me, though. Oh no, 532. That is my load. Why did I think it was... Your 2 looks like an 8. Upon further inspection, it's a 2. Okay, well, that's our load then. What's up, 532? You and I and Old Blue, we're gonna be friends for a bit, all right? I'll treat you good if you treat me good. Before we head down, I'm gonna grab some fuel up here, some beautiful clear winter diesel. None of that biodiesel stuff that likes to gel up my fuel filters when it gets cold. Fill us up. We're in St. Agath, Manitoba. A little bit further ahead here, Josh. How about that? My fuel tanks are behind the motor. There you go. I thought it was going to roll a little further. <laughs> oh, it's been a week. I'm a little rusty here, am I? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's shut this bad boy off. Keep my engine warm over here. Turn the engine warmer on. There we go. Okay, do up my belt because everybody's always like, what's hanging out of your shirt? That's my belt. I have been losing weight, have you noticed? Because I've been eating in the truck. Trying to stay healthy here. Somewhat. Let's move ourselves onto fuel. There we go. Let's tell the world we are fueling. So I got a bit of a ways to go today. I probably won't make it all the way there, but uh, as far as we feel like it until we get tired, we'll do the rest tomorrow. About five and a half hours of driving from here. It's uh, already quarter to nine, so I don't really like driving past midnight. We'll see how far we get. We'll see how far we get. I gotta get into America first. 
My load has been cleared for Pembina, North Dakota to cross from Emerson, Manitoba. I don't know if it's cold enough for this out there, you know? I have it to put it on anyway. Ugh. Wonderful. How are you guys doing? You guys have a good week? There's been a lot of people sick recently. Actually, uh, ran into one of my friends that worked there, one of the other drivers. Ugh. I'm talking with him and he was sick this week too. Ugh. A lot of people I know have caught some kind of bug going around. It's that season, right? I am so grateful that this world has calmed down since the height of all the craziness in the pandemic in the last couple of years. It used to be, you know, you get sick and you were treated like a leper and people would just like flee in every direction away from you. And like everybody would freak out and they'd think you're gonna die and they'll you know, be like reading you your last rites and making funeral plans and like, just calm down, bud. You just got a cold, jeez. Crying out loud. You know what I mean? I'm so glad that we, we're back to the spot where like, maybe we're a little smarter. You know, if you're sick, you stay home. That's how it should have been before anyways, but you're sick, you know, you just stay home, get better. Once, you, once you're better, go back to work. So much easier, right? No government involvement. So much better, so much better. But we followed all the recommendations of Manitoba Health anyways, and uh, yeah, it's good to be back at work, good to be trucking. Let's go get some dinosaur juice. I've missed that. Oh, hey everybody. I'm about ready to get rolling, how about you? Locked and loaded, full of juice. The temperature outside is minus five Celsius. We're sitting probably uh, about 25 Fahrenheit or something. Let's go to America, Let's see what they're up to. Haven't been there since before their Thanksgiving. Look at this guy, this little guy here that bugs me when people do that. It's a little tiny box truck that could literally park anywhere on the other side, but he took up a full truck spot. It's not that big a deal because there's empty spots still available, so whatever, give him a pass today, but usually that would bug me a lot. You don't need a full 75 foot spot. Don't park in a 75 foot spot. A lot of drivers come off the road after a long day of driving and are pretty disappointed when there's no parking for them because uh, you know, all these little box trucks and bobtails took up all the spots. But whatever, you do you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm just gonna tell you what bugs me because that's what I do. I complain. And then I read the comments complaining about my complaining and it's fun. I enjoy it. Old Blue is very excited to get back on the road, I'll tell you that much. She's just ready to go. just rolled into Grand Forks, North Dakota. Once we cross the river, which is right there, it'll be Grand Forks, Minnesota. I love all the Christmas decorations coming out everywhere. As you guys know, we, we decorate early, early as we can. But now that we're in a good, well into December, a few days, I mean, even the people who put it off all the way to the last minute are already starting to put up their decorations, you know? I don't understand how some people, like th these people exist and you might be one of them, there's nothing wrong with this, but I don't understand how some people decorate like Christmas Eve or like the day before Christmas and then take everything down the day after Christmas. It's a lot of work just for one day, you know? too. 
too. it our first day back drove till uh oh 2 a.m <sighs> nice we're at a rest area on uh, u.s highway 10 in minnesota i'm just gonna check to see what town this is what, what town would they consider this uh just says rest stop by phrasey f-r-a-z E E Frazy 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 Minnesota And that's that. I'm so tired. I'm going straight back there onto that beautiful mattress as soon as I get all my stuff all organized and off of there. I'm going to bed. My lips have been really dry. Really annoying. I got this uh lip smacker stuff that my wife gave me am i pretty now so the first night in the truck is always uh well the first day in the truck on um, first day of the the week or first day of the trip is always a day of just getting organized at least everything is clean. Everything smells like laundry all the time, all day, and uh, it just needs to be put away. So I need to get everything uh, in its place, and then lay my head down and go to sleep. And then the rest of the week is more like when you stop. It's if I want to edit my video and get straight to editing. Got nothing to set up. Everything's already in place. Feels good to be back. Really love this truck. Okay, it's, it's a very small truck, right? Interior-wise, it's really small. But it's just big enough for me. It's cozy, right? It's cozy. 